they saw this as an opportunity for innovation and creative problem solving. And I said, uh, let's do this. Let's make people sit up and take notice and think differently about these problems. What we want to do is develop a system where you can optimize energy generation, energy storage, energy use. How can we bring it all together where we integrate home, the grid, and the vehicle? And really look at transformal things we can do to change how we utilize energy. Change the way that we look at energy systems in America and the world. We build buildings the same way we built them for centuries. We have new technologies, new knowledge that really hasn't been applied. How can we take advantage of technology? We're using the large-scale additive manufacturing. We're now close to 25,000 pounds of printed parts going into the house, into the car. So we had to develop a whole new 3D printing technology where we could print something the size of a house in two weeks. We could print out a car in a day. We had to accelerate. What if we didn't have to use any of the materials that we, we typically have? We're not limited to corners and straight walls. Remove all of the constraints of today. How can we create a home that can pull in solar, energy storage through a battery, and how can we use the car and look at the car, not just in terms of transportation, but energy generation? We are optimizing how energy flows and how energy is shared. Imagine that, driving up to your house, and your house automatically knows should it send power to your car, or should your car send power to the house? You need early adopters. You need people who can say, this isn't crazy. It's valuable for what we want to engage with and what we want to see for the energy sector overall. Buildings, manufacturing, transportation, materials, computing, we have all of the key elements. For rapid innovation and moving at the speed and scale of businesses. Amy, it's not the end, it's the beginning of a discussion.